Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax Pets here. This is an unboxing from Bug in Cyberspace. This is something quite unlike any unboxing you've seen on this channel, I can guarantee. At least in some respects. These are aquatic insects. I'm really excited to play with these. Let's see what this one is. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, it's upside down. Small aquatic beetles. Ten of them, looks like. So that'll be fun to get in there. Oh, look at that. I've heard great things about these, that they're very active and they tend to, rather than swim, they just sort of crawl around. Looks like they're packed in sphagnum, damp sphagnum, like you might do with isopods. Interesting. Very cool. I'm looking forward to that. I think what I'm going to do this time is show you everything we've got and then uh, we'll put everything in the tank. So, looks like some more beetles. Oh, look at these guys. Quite a bit larger. These are some of the more swimming, the swimming more aquatic beetles that actually swim rather than just crawl around. And it looks like there are several different types. Ooh. I'm trying to focus there. It'll be easier once we get in there. Very cool. Here are some more aquatic beetles, the sunburst ones. I fell in love with the sunburst diving beetles the first time I saw them. I've heard the bandit are fantastic too. And the Gutticolis black, awesome. Can we see any of the sunbursts from here in the sphagnum moss? Or we're gonna have to wait till we actually, oh, oh, look at that. Look at those colors and markings on that one. Sweet deal, this will be fun. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Now there's some others in here. If you go to bugsincyberspace.com, you can find these uh, for sale. You can find these creatures for sale. And there's an aquatic insect sampler pack. Um, so this includes a, but is not limited to a, an aquatic insect sampler pack. The cool thing about this, um, Jesse Green of Bugs in Cyberspace and of Shapes in Nature did a live stream with me back in August. I'll put a link here so you can check that out if you like. All about his aquatic bug thing. I've been wanting to set one up for a long time, but uh, we had a, a fun chat about his and how to take care of it and answered a lot of questions about them. <laughs> so check that out. Now, the Dinutus. The large whirligig beetles, these have absolutely fascinated me. Whirligig beetles fascinate me to no end. And this is a large uh, type, the Gerinus, and there are a couple of other genera that are much smaller. These get up to, I believe, 15 millimeters. Between 9 and 15 millimeters, their typical size. Very big, um, very surface specific um, predators. Very fascinated by these, so excited to get to see how these um, do in the water. And then these are small back swimmers. These are apparently, and some water boatmen as well. So, oh, 18 small back swimmers and two water boatmen. Fantastic. Now, the water boatmen are really cool. They are a, a true bug, as are the back swimmers. But the water boatmen will breed very easily in a tank set up like this. Um, both uh, Jesse, Jesse and I talked about breeding these in the video I mentioned earlier, and, and other creatures. Uh, a lot of these can be kept at bred with the right situations, and, and they can be farmed, and that's something they're doing at Bugs in Cyberspace there, are farming them in cattle troughs on the property there, where Sky Island Adventures also occur. So, pretty fantastic setup there. Wow, there's some more stuff coming. I thought I felt the deli cup in this one. Maybe I didn't. No, no deli cup in there, that's just packing. But there is some more stuff right here. 
And I don't think we, I'm not, I'm not even sure we're to the end, I don't know. Let's see. What do we got here? Two Barosis. One random, can't quite see what that says. Mm. My glasses are probably need to be cleaned or something. And for Tropisternus, something like that. Let's take a look. Oh, some various cool beetle species there. Oh, something settling in the box and making some strange noises. What is that? Or maybe that's. Is that one of the bugs doing that? I think it is. One of them's buzzing. That's interesting. This will be fun to get to. And let me just double check the box and see if there's anything else in there. So this is the last thing in the box. Card for Sky Island Adventures. I can't wait to get back there. If you haven't seen my videos on my Sky Island Adventures back in 2021, you can check those out. I'll put a link to those as well. But uh, not only is the bed bug and breakfast and entomology field trips, it's some of the most amazing fun I've had in my life. It's very cool. And on the other side, bugs in cyberspace. Same folks, different business. So um, bugs in cyberspace is the, the arm of the business that's sending me or the, the business that's sending me these bugs. So I appreciate that, Peter and Jesse. Really, really excited for this. So before I unbox all these lovely creatures and put them in my tank, I just want to give a quick shout out to my patrons at Patreon. Projects like this cost some money. Peter and Jesse were kind enough to send these free of charge, for which I am extremely grateful. But I did buy the light for the aquarium, I bought a new filter for it, things like that. I bought the Mopani wood, and things like that are made much easier, much more possible by my patrons. So if you would like to help support Aquarium X Pets so I can make more videos like this one, please check out the link at the end of the video or in the description. And uh, I have a list of all my patrons at the end of the video, so thank you so much. All right, what should we start with? I'm not even sure what these guys are, so maybe we should start with these. Okay, I've got a few deli cups here so I can try to separate the beetles from everything else. There's a little wee beetle. I'm just kind of scoop them out here. Let's see, I need to... So we got two Verosis. Four... Mm, okay. There you go. I think uh, maybe that's the four. Uh, Tropisternus, or I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and then we got that one little guy. I'm gonna dump this out in here. That seems to be the easiest way to do it. Check out what these, these guys are. Okay. I don't wanna miss anybody. So we got a total of seven creatures. And that's six. Six are in here. Mm, there's the last one. Teeny little guy. So there they are. In here. Now let's get them into the uh, aquarium, shall we? Here's my aquatic bug tank. Let's take a little bit of a closer look at it. Got an adjustable, dimmable LED light that has on a timer up at the top. And then let's, let's dig in a little bit. This plant you can see covering a fair portion of the surface is dwarf water lettuce. It does really well. I have to fertilize it a couple times a week and thin it out about once a week. Uh, but it is a great plant. Um, based on Peter and Jesse's advice, I made sure that the insects have a way to leave the water if they so desire. You can see on the left side there, a piece of Mopani wood is jutting out, and the rest of the Mopani wood is down here providing surface area, hiding places, visual interest, whatnot, in there. Um, and then there's a piece of cork bark floating in there as well. I've got both um, living plants and some plastic plants, little uh, 
aeration out of there. You can see a scud swimming by. Scuds are crustaceans, kind of closely related to isopods. There are a number of them in here. You know, I've, this tank has been running for a couple of months as I get things ready. This uh, filter, I chose this filter specifically because you can regulate the water level. You can see this, this uh, plastic rod rising from the back of it. It allows you to kind of um, decide exactly where you want the water level to be, and I wanted the water level you know, to be such that I could easily see the surface dwelling bugs. Uh, and so that's, that's why the water level is down maybe you know, six inches from the top. And this, this filter makes that very, very possible to do without uh, making too much noise. I have some live plants in here. There's some Anubias growing right there, um, as well as you know the dwarf water lettuce. There's the roots of the dwarf water lettuce. I think they look kind of cool. There's an Anubias that uh, detached itself, so I'll have to reattach it. And you can see right in the foreground there is a young ram's horn snail. I'm trying to focus on it. Uh, I have added a couple of different species of snail to the aquarium. And Peter was mentioning that uh, they're good to have in there. In the corner on the right, you can see a larger adult ram's horn snail. So I have several of those in there. And there's another scud zipping by. I'll be interested to see if the scuds survive the larger predators in here or not. But without further ado, let's start releasing some bugs into here. Okay, here goes those first beetles. I'll put them right on top of the plant so maybe we can see. Oh, that one didn't lose any time. The other ones are a little bit more reluctant. There they go, right on top of the plants there. I'm gonna have to scoop some of them out, it looks like they're, they're holding on to, to the sides of the little bits of tape that are in there. There goes one. This one's taking its time. The other ones are all in the water already. But I'm not going to hurry it. Let it take things at its own pace. Okay, these water boatmen are the larger ones. And whoa, the back swimmers are the smaller ones. And I just lost one on the floor. They are the. Um, Arthropod analog to popcorn. I'm gonna put them in there. Wow, they're amazing. They're everywhere. <laughs> One thing I love about these little back swimmers is the fact that they are out in the middle of the water column. They're not just at the surface, they're not just at the bottom. They're just kind of out in the middle of everything. And one thing we talked about when I was talking to Jesse, um, they seem to be, they, they remind us of little alien spaceships. So cool. And here are those uh, small aquatic beetles. They're like little, uh, they, they jump kind of like quick be click beetles when you try to pick them up. I don't know if you saw that one do that a minute ago. So let's put those in. Oh, and took off. All right, let's put these beauties in. Something tells me those are going to be the life of the party. At least they're going to contribute greatly to the life of the party. Oh, look at those beautiful sunburst diving beetles. That snail is kind of messing with the focus there, but. There's another diving beetle. Oh yeah, look at that. Twelve more right here.
And now, last but certainly not least, these creatures, which will be the stars of the surface, the large whirligig beetles. Again, here's the reason why I decided to make the water level several inches lower so that I could easily observe the royally gig beetles from the side as well as from the top. I get a really pretty good view here on the side of the tank. Their movement is just absolutely mesmerizing, wouldn't you agree? I am amazed by all of these incredible creatures from this absolutely gorgeous sunburst diving beetle to the little bag swimmers to these large whirligig beetles. Yeah, this is going to be a fantastic and enjoyable tank to watch. Thank you Peter and Jesse for sending these. Remember to go to bugsandcyberspace.com and check out their aquatic insect starter packs. Not only did they put together an absolutely fantastic assortment of compatible aquatic insects, they all arrived in excellent shape. The only problem that I had was my own fault, and in hopes that you can avoid making the same mistake that I did, let me tell you a little bit more about that. You may notice that this filter is quite a bit smaller than the one I originally had on here. And that is because the day after I did the unboxing, I came to look at the aquarium and noticed that I couldn't see any back swimmers. And Peter and Jesse had sent quite a few. So I contacted them and asked them what I might have done wrong. They said to check the filtration, and I did, and found a few back swimmers in there. And they were no longer living. And I was, of course, horrified. ASAP, I got a new filter. This one is uh, much smaller and gentler. All of the beetles and the water boatmen all seemed fine, no problems there, but it just seemed a little bit too much for the back swimmers. And so now I'll be using this much smaller filter uh, from now on. And thanks for watching. I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesdays, all on aquarium and vivarium pets, including now aquatic insects like these. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.